Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We're building some marvelous statues to install in the garden of Beauty and the Beast's beautiful castle. Now they would like these installed today. So we're going to get building them. These cool, enormous cuties, well, they're enormous when you're a mini doll, are brick heads. And look at this, I'm, I'm used to actually dollizing things, so making them look more like a doll. Instead, we're gonna go the opposite way and make them look more like bricks. So brick heads are cool. We're gonna do the Beast first. These are collectible pieces intended for display, which is perfect for our purposes. And they're kind of like, they're like the Lego version of bobble heads, except the heads don't bobble and they're made out of Lego. But they're really cute. They're, they're, they're look, well, you look at his cravat. That's really nice. That's a printed piece. Ooh, this is cool. Now, we're putting together the Beast's uh, jacket at the moment, and we're using nice blue and yellow for this. This looks like it might be... Uh, very square and very blocky because <laughs> we're using bricks of course it's blocky it's designed it's intended to be quite square rather than rounding them off <laughs> and they look so cute when they're when they're done with their little little beady eyes and their caricatured shape but you definitely recognize who they are I mean you already know that this is the beast now we've got all of these outward facing bricks there and look at this colorful tower going in the middle but we're not going to see that. That's going to be in, it's going to be entirely hidden. Some really colourful bricks right in the middle. I love how Lego does that. Just makes it a fun surprise and mixes up the colours. Now we're building his hair. Building his hair. That just sounds crazy. But we are. We're building his hair on the top. That looks like it might be eyebrows. A bit of mane. What do you call it? His mane. His fur. <laughs> whatever it is. It's all brown. Different shades of brown. And we need to put this down here for his little beardy, maney bottom bit of the fur. <laughs> so not sure what to call all of these things. Okay. And we're going to have some black, well, dark brown pieces up there. They're definitely his eyebrows. And here are those little beady eyes. Aren't they cute? They're really hard to get on straight. Hold on. I might just use my teeth to turn them a bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. Especially don't tell my mum, she would be so cross with me. And down here, these white pieces, when I put them on the right way round, are tusks. It's entirely caricaturized version here of the beast, but you can tell exactly what it's all supposed to be. Really cool. Okay, some fur going down the side, part of his mane, and they're on different levels, so it adds a really nice three-dimensional aspect. Of course, it's all three-dimensional, but you know what I mean. Extra dimensional on the three dimensional so maybe no not four dimensional that would be wrong and on the back look that blue bit would be for a bow that's that's the bow for his for his very elegant ponytail at the back there Ooh, this is all getting so much good detail and on the bottom there his legs look at that his little blue pants and his and his and and now we need we need his coattails which kind of which go where like that that looks wrong. No, that is wrong. Let me take that off. Try again. Uh, I can't visualize. There we are. That's it. So that's the bottom of his coat, his coattails, and he needs a real tail. A little brown tail sticking up the back there. That's super duper cute. Now each of these brick heads come with their own little display platform. We'll put it together, but we're not going to use it when we're installing it into the garden. So here he is. What do you think, Beast? Oh, we gave him a kiss. I think he likes his new enormous, oh, so much that he's going to have a bit of a nap underneath it. Crazy. <laughs> we'll install that in the garden in a moment. We've got to now build Belle's giant brick head statue for her side of the garden. I wonder which side of the garden is her side. I, I actually, I don't know. Maybe the side with the flowers on it. That might be the side we'll put Belle's brickhead on. We oh, had difficulty saying that. All right, we've got some printed pieces here which make her ball gown very, very distinguishable, very clear. You can tell exactly what they are. And I assume we're gonna have another one on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> we can look, we can put Belle on the side. <laughs> oh, I put that on the wrong side, hold on. So this printed piece is actually the front of her ball gown and we've got a little pillar to go on the inside. All good for structural integrity and some arms, that's her arm. It's her claw hands with yellow gloves, which is exactly the way it should be. And her skirt is all done now. She's standing on top of her Brickheads version of her and these are her little puffed sleeves. 
in a beautiful pastel yellow. See? Isn't that perfect? Off the shoulder puffed sleeves and now we're seeing a similar style, well exactly the same style as the Beast and we've got that same colourful pillar on the inside which we're going to be covering over with all these grey pieces with the outside studs and we need brown hair for Belle. How is this going to work? I'm very curious to see and to keep building, it's all very clever. And here's her face, her big square face. I'm going to smooth it over. There's a space there for one eye and two eyes and they're not straight either. But now they are! Might have used my teeth a little bit for them. Shh. And her fringe there is looking good. Her hair is starting to take some good shape. Definitely starting to tell what it looks like. On the side here, if I can get everything on straight. Oh, yep, a yellow earring. Very pretty. And I'm going to assume we're going to match it up on the other side. Just like our little bell mini doll down there. Trying to get those squares on straight can be a bit of a struggle. It's good to use the orange tool to try and just kind of jimmy them into place. There we go. And she gets a rose holding down here in her little hand. We'll just push that on a bit better. I haven't done so well with her hair. And on the back, how are we going to make that that beautiful long cascading hair. Oh, some sideways hair. So it looks as though it's all been swept over to this side. So we're going to be building a separate part, which is going to be her side swept hair. Oh, that's really cute. And that goes on the side. <laughs> I've said side lots of times. And this piece here is going to be hinged. This is her bun on the top of her hair, her little half hair bun, and it's on the hinge. So it tilts backwards. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it looks absolutely perfect. All right, her little brick heads display is, well, it's, it's sideways because it's longer. So we need to put it on the side. And there we are. She's thrilled to have her own brick heads version. We're going to see, let's see. Let's see if they are happy to be hanging out together. They are, look, so these guys could dance, but what do our brick heads look like dancing? Oh, a nice big ball dance for our brickheads before we put them in the garden. A spin for Belle and a dip, and then they can have a oh, an eye kiss. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay, into the garden. That just looks as though they're kind of crowding them and menacing them in too close. So maybe move them out a bit. Perfect. That's perfect. A lovely place to put the new statues, the brickheads, Beauty and the Beast in Belle's castle. Well, in the garden of Belle's castle, because they just really seriously wouldn't fit inside the castle at all. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the build. Make sure you click that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you with another video very, very soon.